Hi, and welcome everyone to this talk. My name is Romano Ross. I'm the head of DevOps at Zirke. And today with me is Pia Widomayo. She's the head of quality assurance at Zirke. Hi, Romano. Thanks for having me. Welcome. So, Pia, could you tell me how your current project is going? Um, a very interesting question. Um, yeah, looking at um, my current project, um, but also looking back at the last, let's say, two, three years. Um, you know me, I'm, I'm a very passionate quality assurance and testing person. So um, software quality, good software quality that holds a special place mm -hmm. in my heart. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I said um, these, these days, um, I feel more and more like an outsider um, with this whole agile transformation um, that, that's going on in, mm. in all the organizations right now. Um, it, it's kind of hard. Um, it's, you know, we're agile, we're fast. And um, yeah, I feel like there is no more need for my manual testing. Oh, that sounds bad. But um, when looking now back to your job, what, what is, what's the difference? What have you done in the past and, and now? Well, don't get me wrong. Um, in the past, not everything was perfect, but at least it was clear um, what my job was and when it was my turn. So mm -hmm. when everybody was done, then it was my turn um, to, to do the testing and at the end to, to yeah, give an assessment and a report about where we stand with the quality of our project. Um, and I mean, I never had enough time, but, um, but at least I, I knew what I had to do. Okay. But what's the difference to, to today then? Yeah, today in, um, in the everyday agile, agile business, um, I feel like I'm always running behind um, I'm always too slow. Um, you know, every, everybody is in a team, mm -hmm. um, but I'm not uh, because mm -hmm. there is no more testing team. Because okay. Ed said, there is no more need for my kind of testing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, automation is the new testing. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that, that, that's the one thing. And the other thing is I'm, I'm really struggling hard to find out what should be covered with testing. So how can we really assess the quality? Um, and people keep constantly asking me, where do we stand? Mm -hmm. um, but they don't integrate me into their teams. So that's... Um, okay. That sounds quite bad, but DevOps helps a lot here. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, but those are the worst. No. Oh. Um, when I then finally found out um, what should be covered with testing, and then I'm ready to start with my tests, then the DevOps guys come and they just randomly deploy on, uh, on any environment uh, whenever mm -hmm. they feel like. So then I'm blocked from, from their side because I don't have a stable environment anymore. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, it's not easy for me. It's, it's really... Um, hard times and um but yeah you as you as a devops um specialist what what do you think about that mm. yeah first of all um this is completely normally nowadays there is a lot of change going on and change on one side can be quite frustrating but on the other side it has a lot of opportunities and also for quality assurance, it has a lot of opportunities. But first of all, we need to understand what exactly um, DevOps is. When we look at, at DevOps, then we have the term Dev and Ops, which is dev developer and operation. Of course, there are other terms also out there like DevSecOps, like development, security and operation, or BIS. DevOps, which is business development and operation. But all of that are too short because we need to have a look at who is creating value in a, in a project. And there are a lot more people who create value, for example, uh, quality assurance, but also the, the security or even architecture or compliance are involved in creating value. So we need a term like Dev, Sec, QA, Arc, Bits, Ops, and I'm pretty sure I have <laughs> forgotten <laughs> uh, someone. Um, or you could also say it's Dev Star Ops or it's Dev X Ops, but just call it DevOps because it DevOps it's all about bringing all the people, all the process, and the technology together to continuously deliver value. So that's what DevOps is. Now looking 
at, uh, at your past role. Um, this was quite frustrating because you were at the end and you were responsible for ensuring the quality, but you did not do the changes. Right. And that's a bad thing because how can you be responsible for the quality when you don't know what has changed or you have not done the change? And looking now at the future, then what we are doing in DevOps is we are bringing the quality assurance directly into the team. So you are part of the team. There is a shared responsibility in, in the team about the, the quality and we want to shift left. So we want to ensure the quality right from the start. So that's what DevOps is. That's super cool. Yeah, I really like that. Um, and especially like being part of the team um, and that um, that uh, quality is then the team's responsibility and not uh, down to testers uh, alone anymore. But coming back to this automation topic, you know, I have to admit, I don't have those skills. How should I deal with that? Mm -hmm. First of all, uh, what, what you need to understand is um, not everything should be automated. We Correct. need to focus on the right things to automate. So, for example, automating a broken process uh, is not a very good idea. Secondly, when it comes to uh, automation, uh, when it comes to automation in, in, in testing, then we also need to focus on what do we really want to test. And there, it is very important to understand where are the risky parts where we have a lot of change. And there you come into play because you, with your experience, with your skills, you have the, uh, all the knowledge to say, hey, look, here we have a risky area. Here we need to invest into testing. And there we have a not so risky area. And here we can also do exploratory testing. And here we need to invest into automated testing. So your role is more the role of a coach of the team to say, hey, where do we want to, to do the testing? So you are more the brain behind the test automation. Oh, I like that expression. That's super cool. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm sure I can do that. Yeah, absolutely. And I like that. Um, yeah, I can, I think I got it now. So I can use this whole, um, DevOps uh, and the automation tooling to, to my advantage, um, be the brain behind it. Um, and, um, yeah, also be, be the, the quality coach for my team and, uh, help them to build up the right skills to write, um, good tests, um, and um, yeah, so that we are all share the responsibility and, and can build in quality right from the beginning. Yeah. Very cool. Um, so perfect. Let's, um, let's sum it up. We said first. First of all, we need to pay QA directly in the heart of the DevOps cycle. So they need to be an integral part of it and we need to shift left. Yes, absolutely right. And second, um, as a QA specialist in the team, you are the coach for the team to build up the, the right skills and help them to improve it. And quality is the responsibility of the whole team. And then third? Of course, we need to invest into automation and into automated testing. But there we need to focus on doing the right tests and also automating the right stuff. Right. And fourth, um, and most important, I would say, is that in the end, uh, no matter which tool or which process um, we use, it's always the people who make the project and the product a success in the end. So to all our fellow testers and quality assurance people out there, to everybody whose role is changing, you are important, your skills are important. So what we've just um, said, we, we speak from our personal experience and we know that this really works. Um, yes, it takes some time. Yes, you will face challenges, but you shouldn't um, give up because it's absolutely worth it. And um, quality assurance and DevOps is a great combination. So let's get started. Thank you. Thank you also.